Hi, you're watching a phase line instructional video. Today we're going to be looking at a modern dual RCD 17th edition compliant consumer unit. Phase line's preferred manufacturer is Wilex. They're tried and tested, very good to work with, robust and reliable. In addition, parts are very easy to find for adding any works or in the likely event of a breakdown. OK, over here we have the main switch. It is not a fuse and will not trip out. This is a double pole isolating device which when flicked off will separate both the incoming live and incoming neutral from the rest of the installation isolating the entire consumer unit from the incoming electricity supply. Next we have the miniature circuit breakers, MCBs or fuses in old money. Each circuit should be provided with its own MCB and the rating should be selected according to various things such as cable size and usage etc. MCBs are designed to trip for one of two reasons overload or overcurrent. A simple way of explaining overload is when you have too many items plugged into the circuit and the total load is higher than the rating of the MCB. There are a few other factors here to consider but basically that is overload. Overcurrent usually occurs as a result of a fault somewhere on the circuit. An example of this would be if a live cable becomes loose in the back of a socket and touches the neutral part of the accessory. This will generate a massive short circuit current higher than the MCB is designed to carry thus causing it to trip. As a very general rule of thumb and it does depend on how the circuits have been designed you will usually find lighting circuits on a 6 amp MCB, socket circuits on a 16 or a 32 amp MCB and larger items like showers, ovens, cookers and hobs on a 32, 40 or 45 amp MCB. If your MCB trips out for any reason, there's no easy way of knowing what the reason is. Try and reset the MCB by turning it back on. If it trips straight back off or continues to trip, seek professional advice with an electrician. Finally, we have these two devices, residual current devices or RCDs. The position of these will vary from consumer unit to consumer unit, but usually on a Wilex unit, the first is adjacent to the main switch and the second is about midway. These are designed to detect earth leakage and trip before the level of earth leakage becomes dangerous to persons. On this particular unit, this RCD controls these MCBs and this RCD controls these MCBs. So basically if one of these trips out it will turn the power off to its appropriate circuits. That is why sometimes you may look at your fuse board and see all the MCBs turned on yet there's no power to certain circuits. RCDs are really quite sensitive and are designed that way to protect us. Sometimes you can have an appliance that seems to work fine on a non-RCD protected circuit but when plugged into an RCD protected circuit it may have a tiny earth leakage fault that causes the RCD to trip. This can be quite common with appliances containing heating elements like kettles, toasters, washing machines etc. When the item is turned on the fault is detected and the RCD trips. If the RCD does trip out follow the same procedure as with the MCB. Turning it back on but again if it trips straight off or continues to trip, seek professional advice. You may also want to ch check our other video regarding tripping RCDs. Please note that this information is to be used as a guide and assumes the installation has been installed correctly in the first instance. Phaseline take no responsibility for how this information is used. If you are in any doubt, you should contact a professional electrician.